Hello friends, welcome to my channel Progress with Professor Mahamani. So first of all, I thank all the viewers and the subscribers for your overwhelming response. Really, I am very happy about that. Uh, but uh, uh, the videos, so for those who are not watched my past two videos, uh, I am giving link for uh, uh, link for those two videos in the description box. You can view. And uh, one more thing, uh, the uh, feedback. So I am uh, so far I posted two video. Still I am unable to get the feedback. Okay, whether uh, I, I, I cannot understand where is my stand. So you have uh, for uh, conveying your feedback, you have two options. One is uh, like and dislike. Right? If you feel comfortable or uh, if your uh, doubt is clarified, you give like. Otherwise, you give a dislike. So that gives uh, uh, I can correct myself. And uh, similarly, one more area is the comment box. So the comment box, uh, you can put it, already some people are giving, somebody said, uh, sir, you give the list of industrial engineering journals, something like that, you can give the comment. Uh, you can give the comment in, uh, in that way, in feedback, uh, uh, what, is to, what is good and what is to be improved. These two things that uh, you are mentioning, it will be very, very helpful so that, uh, friends, one more request. Uh, many people are thinking that this uh, channel is for only mechanical engineering, it is not like that. So this is for all departments. You can forward your other department friends also, so that they will get uh, benefited. And uh, one more thing, uh, you are watching without uh, subscription, if you are uh, making subscription and putting the bell button, pressing the bell button, you will get a notification whenever I am uploading a new video, so that you will be in very good update with me. And uh, one more thing, uh, now let us go to our current video. So current video, I am going to talk about what is meant by SEIE journal and uh, what are the uh, steps to identify the SEA channels. So this is what uh, the coverage I am giving. And the uh, reason for taking this uh, particular topic is, uh, many scholars in the forum or if I am interacting with them, always uh, they used to give a different terminology. So they will confuse with various uh, general terminology. Somebody says Scopus, is, uh, Scopus indexing is best. Somebody says SI, SEA indexing is best. Other people they are telling Web of Science is best. So we need to have, a, each and every scholars have very good clarity on this, right? Uh, if you are continuously watching my video, you can get, uh, you will get complete clarification about uh, the all the various general terminology. So it will be very good, uh, very good for your publication. Now uh, I am going to, going for, going to make a PowerPoint presentation before. Uh, friends, welcome to the PowerPoint presentation section. So in this section, I am going to talk about what is meant by SEIE indexed journals and easy steps to identify them. Further, I am going to give clarification about SEA, what is meant by SEA, SEIE, ESI, WIS, and that, that is Web of Science Indexing and what is the difference between each other. So this way, I'm, I made uh, my discussion in the video. So let us go to inside. So various terminologies you have. So these are all the various terminologies related to the journal. So uh, first one is SEA indexing, science citation indexing, so, uh, then SEA science citation index expanded indexing, then emerging source citation index. So this is emerging source citation indexing, then Web of Science, Thomson Router, ISI, Institute for Scientific Information, Clarivate Analytics, Journal Citation Report. These are all the terminologies available. So I am going to give detailed discussion about this in the later slide. So first of all, I go to history of SEA indexing. So uh, science citation index, when it is started, who started, this kind of historical information I want to give, I want to present in this slide. So first of all, SEA means science citation index, SEA science citation index, short form normally called SEA. So it is an oldest uh, indexing service available since 1964. So this is started, this SEA indexing started in 1964. So this uh, SEA indexing started by the Institute for Scientific Information. This is called ISI, ISI. So this is from United States and founded by uh, Eugene uh, Garfield. So this person he started. Uh, then 1992 ISI was uh, get hold of uh, by Thomson Router, Thomson Scientific Healthcare and it was part of Thomson Router until 2016. So until 2016 you, uh, you, can, you, you can see the word in the journal home pages, Thomson uh, Router something like that. So now after 2016, so it was called as a Clarivate Analytics. 
then it was sold to Clarivate Analytics. So this is the present name, Clarivate Analytics is a present name for SA index channel. So uh, in this slide we are going to see what is the difference between SEI and SEIE. So let us see both are same or uh, if it is a different means what is the difference. Okay. So the Clarivative Analytics changed the SEI into SEIE. So uh, Science Citation Index expanded by extending service to the online journal. So SEIE is currently called as a SEIE. So the SEI word nowadays it may not available, only the unupdated uh, journal homepage you can see the SEI. So that uh, updated versus updated journals they are using the word SEIE. So what is the basic difference between SEI and SEIE? SEI means it is in the CD and DVD form, okay, whereas uh, SEIE it is available in the form of online. So previously SEI, CD, DVD form it is available, presently uh, SEI is changed into SEIE and it is available, it made it available in the online, the journal papers are available in online. The, uh, this is the difference, otherwise there is no difference between SEI. So uh, previously called SEI, now it is SEIE, that is a difference. Uh, the SEI index journals are assumed to meet certain criteria in order to make them worthy of tracking. So SEI indexing it help the uh, particular paper so easy to track. So that means uh, uh, that particular paper cited by how many people right like that. Uh, so this kind of tracking it is possible. So this tracking system helps to calculate the impact factor for the journal. So the tracking system uh, it helps to calculate the impact factor. So impact factor calculation and other thing I will give another video. So I don't want to talk about impact factor now. So now uh, the Clarivate and uh, Clarivate Analytics collaborate with uh, Web of Science. So they are uh, collaborate with Web of Science and uh, they are doing. So they are, they are doing perform some activities. So what are the activities includes Poplons, Web of Science score collection, journal citation report. Poplon means you know uh, it is a journal reviewer. Uh, they are asked up to ask us to upload. I mean uh, register into the Poplon website. So uh, whatever uh, review. Uh, I am receiving a paper, I am complete after completion of review, so I will send a copy to Bablon. So, uh, so they are also, they are checking the uh, quality of review process. So if I am not doing uh, the, my, my review, review, uh, review the paper properly, so Bablon they will not give the marks. So uh, the high Bablon index everything, nowadays they are giving awards also, awards and rewards for Bablon. So this is ensuring the peer review process. Web of Science score collection. So this is uh, this particular collection. You, you have SEA and other journals are available. That uh, uh, classification I will come. I will discuss in the next slide. Third activity of Web of Science and Clarivative Analysis is journal citation report. They are calculating impact factor every year and they are uh, giving. So next I go to Web of Science group core collection. So here I said uh, this is a Web of Science core collection activity. Boplan activity I already explained. Now I go to Web of Science Core Collection activity. Web of Science Core Collection, uh, we have a collection of uh, collection comprised only journal that demonstrate greater level of editorial rigor and best practice. So that uh, greater level of editorial uh, uh, rigorous review and best practices. So Web of Science Core Collection uh, consists of SEAE Science Citation Index expanded, Social Science Citation Index SSEA. So this is for science engineering SEA for uh, social studies social science so they have yes SEA indexing will be given then arts and humanities they are having arts and science uh, arts and humanities science uh, sorry uh, humanities citation index AHCA is there emerging source citation index also available emerging source citation indexing also there what is called ESI so this uh, four classification is maintained by the web of science score collection. In next slide, what is the quality uh, qualify? Uh, what is the criteria for qualifying SEA indexing journal? So they are uh, giving five uh, qualification. So five criteria. So yeah, uh, uh, if you want, if any journal want to get SEA indexing, SEA E indexing, so they need to fulfill this criteria. One is high standard peer review system. So that will be monitored by the Poplon already I discussed. Then publication ethics. So they need to follow proper uh, copyright agreement. If uh, they copied any text, any uh, images or anything and similarly plagiarism related issues it will be taken care by this then technical requirements technical requirement means novelty of the paper quality of uh, research everything 
and then language quality so language quality also they are monitoring suppose uh, the technical uh, aspect some papers are good but language they, it is weak they are giving author service so they are uh, uh, you can pay, you can pay some charge you can uh, correct the, you can uh, improve the language quality that provision also it is made available in every journals then finally the fifth criteria is a tricky one web of science user request some of the web of science user uh, they will give a request a request to the user so the you please include this particular journal like that so these are all the uh, these are all the five criteria uh, need to be fulfilled then only we will get uh, any journal will get SAE indexing uh, in next slide so let us uh, discuss the difference between SAE and ESEI emerging source citation index so this is where many people are getting confused so this SEA, uh, the selection process for ESEA is primary step for applying SEA. So whenever a uh, journal they want to get SEAE, uh, SEAE indexing, first they need to first step is they need to fulfill uh, fulfill in ESEA category, emerging source citation index. So this is the primary step. If they uh, in that in that particular uh, journals ESEA index the journal papers uh, journals are monitored by web of science under previously informed criteria previously we discussed five criteria so they will uh, continuously monitoring monitoring the esa journal so if they are uh, fulfilling all the criteria for for the uh, specified duration then esa become SAE. so this is the conversion and uh, however uh, esa journals does not have any impact factor whereas SAE you have impact factor whereas at a esa stage there is no impact factor will be given. So next uh, I go to journal citation report JCR. So uh, uh, this is an annual publication by Clarivate, uh, Clarivate Analytics collaborated with the Web of Science. So Web of Science, uh, Clarivate Analytics both will combine together. Uh, they will assess the, uh, they will make the journal citation report. The JCR was originally published as part of SCA. Presently the JCR service is based on the citations gathered from the Science Citation in, uh, Index expanded, SCAE and Social Science Citation Index. So already I said the social related topics, they have a, another citation index. So they are uh, taking citation from these two indexing, then they will evaluate the impact factor. That impact factor every year they will publish. So now we go to the demonstration. So first we need to uh, discuss SCAE, how to SCAE journal download. So we need to, I am going to download the excel sheet. So like uh, previous video, I am going to check it. I am selecting one particular journal uh, uh, that is uh, uh, comes under SEA indexing or not. Second one, I am uh, going to download the excel sheet for, uh, for my research area, how many SEA e journals are there. So this is the way I am planning. So first for that, I am going to uh, uh, Google window. So Google window. I am just select web of science, web of science, first one you click it, web of science master journalist search, so you click the link, so it will enter into this page, right here you have a search channel, download, so search channel and download, these two part we are going to discuss, so first uh, we are going to do the, we are selecting one journal from the internet, uh, international journal of surface science and engineering. So this particular journal in uh, general home page, this is uh, journal, uh, interscience journal. In home page, they are giving impact factor, Clarivate, uh, Clarivate Analytics 2020. So a five year impact factor, they are giving 0.731, right? Site score. So this site score, it is based on the scopus. So in web page, they are claim, uh, claiming that it is a SCI index, the journal. So here indexing, it is available here. You can look at that. Uh, general citation report. Uh, Clarivate analysis, Corpus, Science Citation Index expand. So uh, uh, in general website, it is indexed by SC. Let us check this uh, journal. It is available in in our list selection list. So we are uh, this window. We are typing the journal title and uh, we are giving search journal. So here International Journal of Surface Science and Engineering. So this is coming here SCI and other indexing everything it is given. So here uh, journal. Uh, that journal is from uh, which country so all the informations are available so
so this is the way you can check the journal whether it is uh, you can select randomly select one journal like this and you put it into the window you can check whether it is uh, SAE indexed or not so similarly we can do another activity also I will go to the download so there for downloading you need to go for uh, sign in right already I gone sign in so here you look at my name is there R. Mohamani so here uh, you can go various collection web of science score collection is there so I given list you no know, SAE social science citation index arts humanities citation index AHCA emerging source citation index so whatever journal you want you click it I am clicking SEA journal so I am giving SEA journal so now the download is started so now if you open I am opening so you will get a file name of WS core SEA so uh, uh, this is the excel sheet available so this is the excel sheet available this is the latest list of SEIE index journal so totally we have 9393 so this much uh, journals are now SEIE indexed so from this uh, we will select suppose I want to search a journal I am my research area is composite material so I am putting keyword composite I am searching what are all the SEIE journals available in the related to this composite material so first one Yeah, nano composite, plastic rubber and composites, polymer composites, polymer and polymer composite. So we need to search with uh, different category, advanced composites letter. So like that, uh, by giving keyword, you can select what are the journals available related to our research area. So next, uh, we are going to another area. Web of Science in uh, search journal list. So here we are going to this uh, journal citation report. If you are clicking, you will get the uh, one PDF file will open. So it will be like this. You will get the uh, journal citation report. So you will get the list of reports. So here you can get the impact factor. So uh, this is an impact factor calculation, journal citation report. So look at the highest impact factor 292.278. So cancer journal for clinic uh, clinicians then new england journal of medicines is a entire impact factory 74 so totally 295 pages are there so you can uh, get your required uh, impact factor you can select you give a control find you can type a journal like composites right composites so composite science and technology that impact factor is 77 seven. so like that you can select in this list if you want to check the impact factor so this is possible so friends with this uh, right so thanks for watching please give your feedback on the on good thing in my in the video and uh, area to be improved in the video so please subscribe uh, our channel for uh, and uh, give the press notification button so that whenever i am uploading any video it will be uh, you, uh, you will get you will get a notification please like the video if you like uh, if your content is like kindly share with your your department friend and other department friend thank you thank you very much